right guys, so we're out here trying it again today. I'm wade fishing out here. I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe get some speckled trout. If we get lucky, maybe a flounder or a redfish. I usually like to throw it up against these, uh, these little pilings here. Hold some pretty good flounder. The water is quite chilly today. I didn't bring a sweater just because the sun's out and kind of want all the bulk in it, especially because it's a little windy today. And uh, I want to be able to move as freely as possible. Let's, let's not get too, uh, too confident here. Let's make sure we secure this guy first. Heck yeah. That is what I'm talking about, guys. Easy, easy. Oh. Strong, boy. Strong. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Good. Easy. Easy, buddy. Easy. All right. Got that up. Secured. Look at that beast. I have not tied him to myself yet. Man. Oh, I can't wait to measure that guy. Oh my god. That's amazing. Oh. What's up guys welcome to the mick challenge video we're going to be taking a 23 inch flounder a beautiful flounder that i caught a few days ago in galveston texas and we're going to be attempting to make i guess our version of a fish sandwich that pretty sure you guys know what franchise restaurant i'm talking about um, we're going to be trying to make our version of that sandwich hopefully we can make a much better much tastier version of that so let's go ahead and get into it guys to see if we can make a much better sandwich all right, so this is what we have here, guys. I have some olive oil. It's actually extra light taste, which I like olive oil because it has a pretty high smoking point, so you don't have to worry about your oil getting all burnt. And uh, since it's light taste, you're not gonna taste that super olivey type of taste. We have panko breadcrumbs, which I'm actually gonna have these blended in this little ninja blender, just because if you can see here, the texture looks much more it's a much more coarse type of breading and the well the sandwich that we're trying to replicate has a much finer type of uh, breading mild cheddar a few different seasonings we're going to be using old bay obviously some black pepper we got some flour for the um, for part of the breading we also got some eggs over here off camera and then we have some of these nice brioche buns so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I also have this dill. I love dill with fish. Um, it's a really nice taste that I like for it. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. And I'm actually going to go ahead and put our oil in the frying pan so I can go ahead and start getting nice and hot. And, uh, and then we'll go ahead and take our fillets or pieces off of this fish. All right, so I have the oil heating up. Let's go ahead and I think we're just going to take off the pieces that we need off of this. Um, just because I want to go ahead and try to get this sandwiches made. We do have people that are waiting. My parents are actually going to be trying these. So I want to go ahead and do this pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and fillet this guy. By the way, my knife is not very sharp, guys. I know. I know. I should know better than that. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our 
our setup. All right, so we're gonna have first some flour. All right, so we got our flour in here. I'm gonna do three eggs, actually four. I'm gonna whisk these up real quick. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. A little salt and pepper to our flour. Alright, I have some uh, Spanish paprika. I got some cayenne pepper. And then we're gonna put just a little bit of Old Bay. this whisk off so I can mix the flour. I'm gonna chop up a little bit of this dill. Put that into our egg wash. And all we're trying to do is we're just trying to layer flavors, okay? So. All right, so now let's just get our breadcrumbs ready. Blend our breadcrumbs here. And that looks that looks pretty good. So we have everything we need here. I'm gonna get a little plate just so I can put the finished ones on the side. Alright, so we're gonna go into the flour and into the egg wash. And the flour, just in case you're wondering, is actually to make the egg wash stick very well to it. So we're gonna make sure that we get it all coated. Alright. And then we'll go right into these breadcrumbs. There we go, we got one right there. And the last piece. Alright, let me wash up my hands and we'll put these in the fryer. Alright, so I think our fryer is ready. Or our oil, actually. So we're going to take our pieces of fish here. Let that go for a little bit and then we'll go in and flip them over all right so let's go ahead and give these a flip Just about done, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the buns uh, ready, and uh, we'll go ahead and build everything up. I actually forgot I'm actually also using the Louisiana tartar sauce. I'm not making my own today, but I'm sure it'll be just fine. So let's go ahead and get these buns out. And these buns are actually really good. They're just some simple buns from Walmart, but um, these brioche buns actually are really good. Looks like these are ready. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and get them next to our sandwiches. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cheese on the uh, fish while it's hot so it can kind of melt. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm actually toasting the buns right now. Just put that right on the bottom. So everything is laid out here. Let's put our fish on top. And 
And there you have it, guys. Alright, so we have the final product here. And that's going to be our version of the sandwich. We actually do have a actual sandwich from the location. I'm going to get that in just a moment. But we're going to go ahead and let my parents and my wife try the sandwiches and see what they think. Go ahead and take a bite, guys. Mm. Good? Mm. Would you say it's better than the we're not going to name it sandwich? Yes, all of it's crispy. 100%. What do you think is better about this sandwich as compared to the other one? Fresher. Go ahead, Cutty. I think it's fresher, much more crispier, like my soda set. The flavor is really good in the bread. It's amazing. Yeah, the bread really helps. You know, like uh, the crispiness in it is really good. Mm. Mm. What do you think about the sandwich? The sandwich is in the yeah, and it's made from flounder, so it's a much more quality fish. So let's go ahead and take out the other sandwich. <laughs> Alright, so here we have the original sandwich, which it doesn't look all that great, but uh, let's compare it to the other one. The sandwich size is almost the same. Um, the other sandwich from the big company is actually a little bit smaller. <coughs> one of the key main points that they mentioned is that the quality is obviously better. Obviously a sandwich of this type would be a little bit more expensive because of the quality, but if you enjoy good food, it's pretty sure it's something you wouldn't mind paying. So that's very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try and see what I think. Alright, so I'm going to give it a shot here. It's really good. Obviously the meat, you can definitely taste the difference in the meat. Everything about this sandwich just tastes more like something you make at home. Obviously it's something that I did here at the house, but yeah, it's like, it's honestly like night and day. You know, I have nothing against this sandwich. I ate it for years growing up. My parents used to buy it for us. It's not a bad sandwich, but obviously the quality is just, completely different so this is definitely something if you guys want to try it let me know I can put the recipe for you guys it's very good I added some extra stuff to it not exactly sure how they season this one but um, this one specifically came out really good so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you guys smash that like button if you'd like to see more catching cooks check out my channel make sure to subscribe I do have more catching cooks on there now and make sure you guys keep up with uh, all the new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Tight lines.